All right, guys, in this little meadow right here, in a very short amount of time, we are at the end of March, so by the time May comes along, the end of May, this will all be green, and you're going to see tons and tons of red clover through here. You're going to see wild lettuce, yarrow, hemlock, uh, goldenrod. There's just a whole burdock. There's just so much stuff um, in this little meadow right here. And the nice thing about this, guys, is look how close it is to just a dirt road. These edible and medicinal plants grow everywhere. Look, okay, guys, this is all um, blackberries and raspberries through here. I'm going to come back here in a, a month or so, and uh, I'll show you guys this exact same spot. Okay, guys, okay. this is a dried up mullein plant. All right, in the summertime, this is going to have all golden leaves on it up in the stock. has a very green velvet leaf that people use as toilet paper. Here lives and a skunk way back there that we spotted, kept our distance from him. But lots of rabbit in there and the deer like to hide in right in there. I think I was there the other day. I don't know if I videotaped it or not, but I'll take a walk over here and there's quite a bit of uh, urine, urine and, um, you know, deer scat all through there. Okay, guys, what you can see here is you can see the fur, okay, from whatever animal this coyote ate. You can see the fur right on it, all right? So, you guys, and if you see the scat, and I just come up like this, this is the area I was in where I saw the pack of coyotes the other day. Okay, guys, I'm out here just doing a, just a hike today. I don't have anything particular that I'm doing. I'm just walking around, but I want to cover a few things. You know, people love little tricks of the woods, all right? So I'm going to take just a couple of minutes and show you little tricks that you can do for yourself that will help you, all right? And basically, they're tricks on, um, you know, measuring time, uh, measuring distance, and things of that nature. The first thing <clears throat> you need to do is on your body, without any tools at all, you need to have some kind of way that you can measure, all right? So it could be, it's going to be different for everybody. But for example, between my outside knuckle here and my thumb from here to here is four inches, all right? So I know if I take one, two, three, I know that that's going to be a foot. So if I have to measure out any inches, I can use the outside of my pinky to the outside of my thumb, and I'm going to know that that's about four inches. I know for a fact that that four-inch blade, I know it's four inches, okay? Now, if I measure from my knuckle right here to right here, it's four inches. So I'm verifying that from here to here, it's four inches because this blade is four inches. And you can use a lot of tricks like that to measure things when you're out in the woods, okay? If you want to stop measuring feet, you could use a body part to simulate certain distances, okay? So I know the crack of my arm until I get to my ring, or right where my ring is, from here to here, is one foot. I know it is, okay? So I ha if I'm out and I need to measure maybe depth or something like that, also, and I'm trying to look, I know if I was um, maybe pulling line or, or pulling paracord for Hank or whatever, Hank, I know that between my thumb and my index finger, when I stretch it from here to here, I know that the length to here to here is five feet. So if I needed 20 feet of cord, I would just hold the end and go one, two, three. The human being, the average person, can pretty much walk a mile on average terrain in about 20 minutes, okay? So I know that about 75 paces is going to give me an eighth of a mile, all right? So I know if I walk 75 paces and I do that eight times, whether you use pacing beads or something like that, and by using your watch, you'll know that you've walked about a mile by using those little tricks, okay? I know that between my hand here and my hand here on the horizon, if I go up one, two, three times and I hit the bottom of the sun, I know that I'm going to have three hours till it's dark. 
right? If I'm walking, you see people pacing with their feet all the time. If I'm walking and I touch my toe and I go just a little bit further, I know that that's one foot. So I know that I can pace off right. 10 feet. Yards, I know that I can measure out with my paracord 20 feet. I know I can measure out 10 feet, so I can use that paracord to measure out yards if I needed to do that as well. All right? If I want to measure out some kind of, um, maybe I'm looking over a cliff and I want to know the distance between where I am and the bottom. Well, you can just take a rock and toss it off the cliff. Let's say you say one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. I know that that's 30 feet. How do I know that? That object is going to drop 10 feet per second. All right? So you can measure depth. You can measure time. All right? You can measure a lot of things. These are just little tricks that you can do while you're, you know, out at home. You need a measuring tape. And you can measure distances. So you know inches, and then you know feet, and then you know how to get 10 feet, and then you can start to measure yards, and then you can start to measure miles without having any devices at all.